Hi, it's been a while um, I didn't record in English. So in the moment, I will just uh, record on the market updates as of 2016, uh, October 11. Okay, so just this is what we're going to discuss. Okay, how to catch the second wave before it happens. As far as you, you know that, okay, uh, there are so many people knowing the second wave is the craziest wave that uh, if I you write on it so you can get quite good return from there okay so basically when you miss the sec uh, first wave it doesn't matter if you miss the second wave it does matter okay because the second wave is the easier and safer uh, time to get in and once you get in you can close your eye and wait until it retrace and before it happens right then you get out of it then you can you are getting a lot of money from that let's say uh, from the first wave right it rise around maybe 20 percent the second wave will be at least 20 percent and above okay so this is how it come with the this kind of theories so we will go to discuss this further in terms of theory okay and what we're going to use as to figure out this one okay uh, this is basically we're using some assistant tool later we'll go goes on on this okay so and of course we are using some assemb assemblers okay which already happens and the second wave is already uh, some things are going to end so this is uh, an ideas for you to know how to identify then then you can use it for the coming thing uh, coming coming stock which happens got the similar chart patterns like that okay so of course we go to talk about theory so theory in short okay here we're going to cover on the wave theory or ear wave principle this is a very complicated thing right so basically when going uh, on a full cycle before it retreats, right? There is one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. Okay. So these things that you need to calculate is very troublesome. Okay. So I will make it simple and easy for you. No worries. So later on will cover and I will make it much simpler than what you need to know. Because our concern is how to catch second wave before it happens or it going to happen. That's the things. Okay. So let's have a look on this. Okay, so uh, for the wave theory, right? It like this. It go up three times and then it goes down. Okay, and similar go to down, uh, down, down trend. But this one we only concern on this because we only can make money when it's uptrend in the Malaysian market. Okay. So uh, this is the first wave. First wave I use it represent in the uh, black color. This, as you can see going up and down and what we're going to catch is second wave this one this is the blue one this is second wave perhaps the first wave will give you 10% return the second wave at least 10% and above this is what we are concerned on and the third wave basically is just slightly more than the first wave then it's much lesser than the second wave so basically we're not very interested on the third wave unless you are some genius okay super genius but we are just a mere human so we just focus on the second wave more than enough already and of course if you miss it a lot of people too bad they gain on the late uh, third wave which is around this area and then they are expecting it to go up and in fact it's go down so that's why they are losing money once you understand this principle it's quite easy okay in this wave theory right basically this is one okay when you know, this goes up right this first way right one two so this is represent in the first wave three and four this is second wave which is and then five a b c this is the wave theory is some things like you need to calculate a b c one two three four five a b c is very uh frustrating right okay so basically we just consult on this one is more than enough already once we catch this okay which is the first wave then we focus on second wave 
how to identify the second way entrance so here comes what we want assistant to which is known as Fibonacci so basically this Fibonacci there's two tools okay we are going to use Fibonacci retracement which is the first one to identify when to get in okay and the second one which is Fibonacci projections this is the things that we are using to consider when is our profit taking point must take note that the first one is determine when is the entry price and the second one is determine when is the profit taking point okay so this one is make it easy for you okay that's why i come uh, tell, uh going to share with you what is the assistant tool and then how to use it okay and of course the example used over here will be used right is andrew and a asia it happens already and this is not a tips for you this is just a study case so you can apply to other stock when you see something similar like this okay and for first of all you must obey the rule which is the wave theory okay which back to this one okay when the retracement happens on the second wave right okay sorry sorry this one right okay this wave right i am talking about this entire right? this is first wave right okay it's valid on this one when this one right this retracement right it's not more than 75 percent of down this one when this is lower to the highest right when highest goes down 75 percent okay more than that it is not valid no longer uh, uh, can can apply this theory anymore okay so when also there's second point to take notes okay and when the second wave right retrace on this one right this point this is a retracement point okay this is retracement point this is rebound okay when this rebound this is lowest right this is the low this is the uh, second wave low okay this is the first wave low okay this is the first low this is the second low this is first high this is second high this second low must equal or not more than 10 percent of this high first high okay which means that this one is one ringgit it cannot more than 90 cents lower okay let's say 89 cents is not valid anymore it must be equal or higher this is the idea okay so if not then this is not valid also anyway we are not concerning on this one we are concerning on the first one this one okay it cannot drop more than 75 percent let's say this one ringgit right it cannot drop until 25 cents and lower okay if drop lower it's not ready anymore so we cannot use this uh this approach anymore okay just for your information sony okay come to this uh you just need to remember everything's over here show and share to you it's just for reference only okay it may be uh, some changes sudden change who knows right okay so i use go just back to this one i using a chart nexus to explain to you how it works andrew and a asia okay let's move to the chart nexus okay this is chart nexus so i'm going to do like this okay so i'm maybe using the other panel so I come here right, uh, I this is indicators. So basically I just taking on um, volume MA. The rest I'm not taking anymore. Okay, because just for you to have an easy reference. And then this is drawing tool, we're going to use this one. But we are not using this one, we are using this one first. Okay. So let's have a look at Angel. So as you can see, Angel right, the second wave is still not finished yet, lah. Okay, you see. It's still going up. Mm, let's move a bit far uh, further. Okay. Since there's a dividend adjustment, right? Okay, for here I need to adjust something, system setting. I need to disable everything. Dividends, right issue, stock split, bonus issue, save. So it move like much better. 
so I need to raise this slightly higher so for you to e uh, have a much easier reference so as you can see the highest is 1.26 so I'm using this line to just draw for you for uh, easy reference erase the second line because it's not necessary so 1.26 and the lows over here, as you can see, I'm pointing this point. If you're not able to see, never mind. I'll point it for you. So I'm using this one uh, just for easy reference. As you can see, right, this point, this one. Okay, as you can see over here, this one, right. This is the uh, something that we call as a uh, dragonfly. Okay, it's a dodgy, but there's a special nickname for it. It's dragonfly, which where the high, which is open, high and close happens at once. Okay, and the low, there's this, as you can see, uh, forming like the T shape. So we have another nickname for this is called dragonfly dodgy. Okay, and over here, yeah, which is uh, April 21st of April, okay, the height is 1.26 as you can see over here. And this one's right, that look, uh, on, happens on the 2nd March, the low is 0 0.62, okay, so this is the point. For easy reference, I will you have a look on this one, so when it raise uh, reach this point right okay as you can see this is the percentage 100.2 percent rise so this one is very interesting because this is the first wave okay uh, so from here right what you're going to do over here now is I'll take out these two point else I cannot place over there using Fibonacci retracement okay under drawing tools this one which is the I can select there are so many Fibonacci okay so Fibonacci retracement from here I'm going to select 1 1.6 1.26 1.26 until the low is 0 0.62 okay which indicate over here accept it over here okay so what I'm going to uh, tell you over here, right, okay, all these points, right, as I can say that, do more than 75%, if more than 75 which is this one, right, touch this point, it's not ready anymore. So the best, the ideas one, will be this one, and of course the best one is 50%. This one is uh, almost 50%, which as you can see is around 9 points, I think I better put the point over here. So at this point right, which is 0 0.945 and the 50% point, point is 0 0.94. So from here, this indicate this is the indication set for you, right? okay? It rebound and the next step we have a lot over here. The first one is fake rebound. This one right, 38.2%, which is 1.01. .01. And just this through this point and then this is rebound back. Okay, this is called false breakout. It's not really rebound and continue goes down because you see when she touch 23.6% it goes down okay so from here right if confirm because over here you see the volume comes in this volume right you see this volume this volume is equals to this volume and the next day is even higher so at this candlestick right these three candlestick it forms a reversal candlestick called mor a morning star. Okay, when you see this, doesn't matter whether it's a yin candle, or yang candle, as long as it goes down. Okay, and that happens a doji inside. I see a cross over here, it's similar as a T. Any doji, and then yang candle. The next one must be yang candle, show that it's stronger signals. Okay, from this one, right, you see this signals, right. Okay, this is a reversal and with confirmations. So normally we enter over here. It break, doesn't break because if we go here, right? Okay, you can see over here. Let's say enter over here. 
it doesn't matter as goes down right okay if doesn't uh, go back to this point 50% right you still doesn't matter okay once after that you can see it goes all the way up okay so what is the next point we need to consider is this is the entry how we going to get inside using Fibonacci retracement as simple as that okay so this is the first way we already know the high and the low the highest and the low for the first way okay so from here what you're going to do now okay is a profit taking point which point we need to concern okay we are going to use Fibonacci projections so of course this one I will take this up it doesn't take up also doesn't matter because this one you will uh, disturb so from here right I will check this point but this one I think I need to take up this one this one these two point because it disturbed okay so this is the lowest 0 0.62 goes to this one is 1.26 the open right this one right normally is open or close doesn't matter okay you can use open and the second point is high and the third point is low this one is already disturbed never mind I'll just take it out this one so and take out this one this one is low is 9 approximate like this doesn't matter so from here right uh, I already completed I did completed some things like uh, what we need to put okay one zero point zero uh, significant lesser doesn't matter we want just want to know uh, where is it so later on we're going to drag longer okay so this is the point that you need to concern okay the first one is more than 100% and second one is this point and third point is just this point so basically right as you can see this one I make it lesser 1.82 is the first which was more than 100% right 1.82 is the first profit taking point and 1.98 is the second and the third one will be 2.22 this was not, not, not yet there so as you can see this is a profit taking point which is more than 100% this one right okay and of course there will be more this one if you want to take to this point right first thing come first you need to know the fundamental of this stock okay you need to calculate a lot of things okay and then comes up whether it's possible to strike this point or not then you can only Go for it. Otherwise, these three points 1.82, 1.98, 2.22 will be the best profit taking points. Okay, that's why you see this one right. This point of course, okay, open and close lower, right? This is the day, day after the first day of uh this NG release financial report of June from April to June 2016, three months uh quarter result. So this which is just three months between April first of April until third year of June. Okay, so this one is show sure, a uh, very good result, but somehow a lot of people profit taking because of these things comes in. So as you can see, free bonacci uh, retracements is good for entry point. Okay, and pre bonacci retrace uh projections right, is good for profit taking points. Okay, so you need to determine which one. Okay, so as you can see, right, the first wave gave you 103.2%. What 
How about the second wave? This one is nine point uh zero point nine five four five right. Uh, zero point nine four five until this higher right. This so far this is higher is you see, this is very okay. This one fulfill the wave theory. So in the moment whether it can go through this one two point two two, we will not know. Okay, until we follow on the next day, or maybe in the future, who knows right? In the moment they are this one's right, they are issuing something like the right issue, they're asking money from the shareholders. So basically I, I believe 2.22 will be strike for sure. And 2.62 61, I'm not sure. See how is it? And of course we still need to stick with the fundamental. <coughs> Otherwise, right? This is just a possible profit taking point. And yeah, as you can see, right, once it stands strong over this point, right? 1.98 right this one becomes resistant a eh, support sorry this one become support and this one become resistant every points over here right as long as the share price this is the share price of as now right okay heaven goes pass through it it will remain as a resistant in the moment 2.22 will be first resistant and 2.61 will be the second resistant just as simple as that as you can see this one right this one right drop down is not even 50% I, I believe okay this is you can see there are so many tiny wave right but you're not concerning on that we are concerning on the overall trend okay this is the first wave and second wave and not yet seeing any retracement yet and the second wave still carry on for this one but of course the profit will be lesser for this one okay now we're going to move to a Asia. So A Asia, as for now you see, this one definitely is finished on the second wave. So we're going to have a third wave, who knows right? Okay, so we're going to move much forward. This is the lowest. Okay, so the lowest right, I need to uh, make it higher. This is the first wave, okay. So the lowest will be around uh, 0 0.67, uh, 0 0.765 sorry and this one the highest will be 1.61 okay so this is a point and of course I'm going to do the same things over here I will first need to measure how much it rise Okay, so it's 110.5% rise. Okay, so this one low is over here. So this is later on we're going to use this as a using pro uh Fibonacci position. In the moment you're going to use Fibonacci replacement. See where is the best entry point. So uh, in the same time I of course I'm going to remove this. So I'm going to change this one to Fibonacci retracement. So this one is uh, 1.61 to 0 0.765 765 and then you see 1.61 Okay, so as you can see this one is much stronger It just moving within uh, this 1.28 and 1.41 So this is the point, okay so this one you can see there's a song rebound, uh, song support over here. When it goes down, right, every point over here, right, as a support. Okay, as long as it's not breaking over until seventy eight point six percent. Okay, the ideal ones will be this one, or fifty percent. But this one is much better. Okay, much stronger as you can see it consolidated. This is the period we calling as consolidations. Okay. Consolidations that which mean that the people are uh, collecting uh, stock they are not getting it going up. You see the volume is not man much over here. This one is volume rising, okay, volume rising, and then all of a sudden not much volume around here, okay. So from here you can see, okay, next one we're going to do is what you're going to do is wait for this, okay. So basically this is the debt I get in inside, okay. So this is the debt that after the financial result release. So the first day I get inside, 
I immediately gain more than 100%. I'm not using uh, any ordinary stock like buying this. I, use, I, I, I get it into a call warrant. So this is how I maximize my returns. Okay, so this is a trick. Here come the tricks. Okay, as long as I know it's uptrend, so why not I getting more and making it more? Okay, now rather than, you see, since I missed 100% over here, I can make more than that. Why not? So basically, I make use of these tools. There's a tool called structure warrant. And structure warrant, there's two things. One is called warrant and the other one is put warrant. So this is beyond what you need to know, okay? So basically, this one, I just teaching you using uh, typical things to enter the stock. The other one, I will not sharing much to you unless you join my workshop, okay? So it's a lifetime workshop. I will teach you all these things, okay? So from here, you have, as you can see, right, this, this is the point I get inside. Because I know it's breaking this one with volume, okay? You see this volume? All of a sudden, this volume is higher than this volume. And this volume doesn't rise much. You see this, this is big candle, young candles, right? Come with volume, of course, but it's a false breakup. All of a sudden, it goes down because this is consolidation state. When it comes to this one, confirmation, everything confirmed. Okay, fundamental good, technical analysis good. So everything confirmed, then I get inside. So from here, this is the point I jump in. Okay, so I make a quite decent, decent profit over here. So of course, I'm going to remove this one. And this one, because it's going to disturb. I'm drawing the pre large projections. So pre large projections, this one is open, close, I'm using close better because lower. So close will be 0 0.78. And highest over here will be It's very funny. Once I drag this one, doesn't matter. Then I continue drag this one. Six one. Perfect. And the lowest are uh, definitely will uh, be this one. So one point two six. This is the candle. Don't put it the wrong side candles. Okay, perfect. So this is the point. So now we're going to drag it longer. And then I put this line up just to make it easier for me to reference. So as you can see over here, right? When you face this 2.61, it goes down. And this form a strong support. It goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, but it didn't touch this support 2.41. Okay, so from here you can see right, this one resistance turn into support and goes up. And then as long as it's not breaking this 2.61, right? So we are knowing that. The third phase still valid. Okay. Third wave may may slide to four point two five, who knows? But the second wave already ended. This tells you what? It's a time for you to left this counter. Okay. So this counter is just for your information. It just slide like this by. Okay. So as you can see, 2.0 uh 2.09 is the first profit taking points, 2.41 is the second, and 2.61 is the uh, third one, and then 2.92 is the fourth one so it's not yet 3.44 who knows but 
we just need to see over here and this one you see second base was was god damn long man so 1.26 which is the lowest we calculate from the lowest 1.26 until highest which is 3 uh, should be 3.26 it's 3.26 hey? oh no 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 high, high is 3.3 .3, sorry which is 3.3 .3. around that doesn't matter lah. okay So as you can see, this percentage is still very right, 160%, 110%, this is what I mentioned. If you miss the first wave, doesn't matter, the second wave, you shouldn't miss it. Because the second wave is the easiest making money wave. So this is like the ATMs, you know, once you put inside over here, you invest over here, just waiting to retrace. Like this happens, right, okay, let's try it, touch this one, right. When this one right break out right and it support turn to re resistant right okay this one two point nine two become resistant then is the time you get out everything so you sell out all your shares and then enjoy all the profit because you already uh, finished this the second wave so this is how it comes okay so as you can see from this point uh, one point two six enter until it's not really this point it's this point uh, basically this point. This point is around uh, 1.4x 1.4x 1 all the way over here If using call warrants the leverage will be much more okay so basically I make more than 161.9% I make around 600% uh, over here because I know how to deal with it how to not maximize the profit in compounding and compounding okay this is how we making money okay once you understand this principle everything is it's just like a piece of cake for you okay and of course you need to get uh, understand how this works so is it clear so i basically hope you uh get really benefit from these trainings so I'm giving you uh, two good examples, of, uh, examples over here. So, and again, this is just for reference. Okay, it doesn't mean that it will vary all the way. It generally only, okay. For general cases, yes. Maybe 100 cases, there'll be 90%, which is 90 case out of 100, you'll be valid using this approach. Okay, so, Let's back to this point. Okay, <coughs> I hope you uh you like this kind of sharings. So if you really like this kind of sharings, right, then you please subscribe my YouTube channel. So when there's any update, you can immediately get notified via your email. Okay, so there this is the good things over here, and it's totally free of charge. You just need to subscribe my YouTube and then get follow what I'm going to do now and then. When times come, you just have a look, uh, read on that, and then uh, read through, study what I'm sharing over here. It may uh, benefit you a lot. Okay, so please also share with your friends who really understood on this kind of things like investment in stock market. Okay, if you share with them, right? Okay, and then they just subscribe that they will benefit as well, and then thanks to you. Okay, so. That's all for today and thanks for watching.